What is up, ladies and gentlemen of the U-verse? Welcome to 2020. Yeah, I know I'm a couple weeks late, but the holidays were uh, phenomenal. Spend time with family, spend time with friends, uh, got a little bit of focus going again, and we're gonna get back at it. So we're gonna get back at the build on my lovely Empress. Oh, I love this bike. Also gotta give massive thanks to Miami Manny at Moto Millions. Um, and I will tell you why. Because when I ordered what we're going to install today, I initially ordered the old version. Unbeknownst to me, uh, the company TWM had come out with a brand new version and I hadn't even seen it yet. Manny noticed it, gave me a call, uh, put my order on hold and said, we've got a brand new version. Are you interested in that? I said, dude, that's freaking awesome. Uh, thank you for calling me. That's incredible customer service. I, I can't believe it. Um, not only do, yes, I want the new version, but I forgot to put in my promo code, uh, 650EB. So I don't have a promo code with Moto Million. Uh, these guys, I'm sure you've, you've heard about them because he's sponsoring an awful lot of builds. Um, they're a phenomenal company to deal with. I don't have a discount code, but I'll definitely rep uh, Eeb's channel. Uh, 650 Eeb does a phen phenomenal job and uh, use his discount code. Uh, yeah, that one right down there. Punch that in over at Moto Million and get a discount and buy some cool stuff. Um, you know, and he'll send you stickers. He sent me a, uh, a key tag with this order. Uh, my last order from him, all I got was quite a few stickers, but you always get something a little bit extra from, from Moto Million. Awesome guys to deal with. Going into 2020, I'm, I'm very happy that uh, I've discovered an awesome retailer that I can deal with. But let's get into it. What we're gonna do today is I'm going to solve the last little nitpicky problem, issue, complaint that I have with the Aprilia Tuono. And that is actually the gas cap. Um, the issue that I have with it isn't that it's non-functional, isn't that it's ugly or any of those sorts of things. It's such a slender neck that when you're filling, it sprays up. So we're gonna solve that problem here today. And let's kick over to the workbench and I'll walk you through the parts and stuff that you'll need to accomplish this feat. It's pretty easy. Let's see, did this start? Yes, we're starting. So the very first thing that you will need is your key. And you need your key just to open the gas cap. Pretty simple, duh, obvious. Uh, to remove the gas cap, you will need a four millimeter Allen key. And then to take it apart, you need a Phillips. That's pretty easy. Putting it together, you will need a two and a half millimeter, or sorry, this is a three millimeter, uh, three millimeter Allen key. I believe that's the only tool you need. I'm going to be using uh, a heat gun. All right, let me move yet again. Manny at Moto Million. Miami Manny's a stud. Definitely uh, look him up and use that 650E. I will be using a heat gun uh, because it's the winter and I will warm up some of the, uh, the surfaces a little bit just to help the glue or the adhesive stick a little bit. Uh, I will need safety glasses. We will need a rotary tool and cut off wheels for the rotary tool and some sandpaper. I think that's all the tools I'm going to need. Um, definitely need sweet tea and then you need the part. So this is the part that we're putting in. Just quick action. Uh, gas cap system. There's the bolts. And then this one, what makes it so nice and special, this one does not have bolts that go through it. So there's no exposed bolts. It's just carbon fiber beauty. Look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. So let's get to it. Oh, I forgot to mention, I will be using my lovely Gripshon little caddy to capture the screws and hold on to stuff. So 
This should be a fairly simple install. Just open it up. Nope, oh, wrong size. Once you have the four screws out, this will just lift right out. Be careful you don't tear the gasket underneath. And then let's move this lovely grip shawn up here to protect the tank so I don't drop stuff in it. And then you'll see these five screws. While I'm doing this, what do you guys think of the new logo down in that bottom left corner? Yeah, 2020, I decided, what the heck? Let's put out a new logo. Um, for those of you guys wondering, in 1974, which was the year that I was born, yeah, I'm old, I know it. Um, Colorado had a special plate. So, I thought that was kind of cool. Thought I'd incorporate my love of Colorado a little bit more into my design and uh, just let all of you guys know, yeah, I'm ancient. Once you have all five of those screws out, you'll notice the throat part will lift away from the cover. So we can set this cover aside. We won't be needing that. And this is what I was talking about. See how narrow that is right there? Let's see, yeah. Now you can kind of see it a little bit better. Um, this little throat down here, it's barely big enough for the gas cap or the gas uh, fill valve to go in there. So what we're gonna do, carefully peel off this gasket, remove that gasket, set that aside for future use. We're gonna trim this right here. So we'll trim around this neck with that rotary tool, sand it down nice and smooth, and we'll gain all this extra room. So the Air, the air escaping the tank as you're filling will be coming at a lower velocity because you'll have a bigger diameter. You'll have more air or more space. And hopefully we won't get as much splatter. Oh, there's another gasket right there we'll want to hold on to for safekeeping. that up, it's locked in. So got the lock on, grab some power. All right, safety glasses on. That's still covering the tank. We'll adjust the speed down to a lower speed. If you have the, op the uh, option on your rotary tool, definitely adjust your speed. And we're gonna wanna trim this as straight as we can. Take the speed up a little bit. We're just a little bit faster. We're cutting a little slow. Yep. See, this is what I was trying to avoid, melting the plastic. Slow it down a little bit. That's cut off. Now we'll get to sanding. And we'll just sand this smooth. Get all the edges off.
Not perfect, but good enough for what we're doing. Wipe off all the shrapnel and schmegma. And we're ready for reassembly. Don't forget to reinstall your gasket. Oh, that's upside down. That's correct. It has a little notch. Just put that in there. Put the notch in the slot, allegedly. There we go. Just press it back in all around. Now it'll seal back up. So twist it around until you get the five exposed holes lined up with holes in the tank. Now I should lay these out over here so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. So this is the hardware pack that came with it. And there goes the spacer. I gotta find that. Hardware pack and instructions. So you have four of these screws and four of these spacers. So before you install it, guess what you could do? Lay down your spacers. Careful not to drop them in your tank because your tank is now open and that would suck. So yeah, go spacer, cap, screws. Now the first couple you don't want to do well, the first one's on each corner. You don't want to do do uh, super tight. Just get them started. It's like this one. I don't want to get super tight because it'll let cantilever it over, and I want this to sit flat, right? Just go back through and tighten them down onto the spacer. And once all four of those bolts are tight, technically, I could say I'm done. Because now that carbon fiber piece is just trim. I wonder if these are standard actually. Let me see if there's a standard Allen that fits better. Look at that, that one's nice and tight. No wobble at all. So subtract the three millimeter Allen key and substitute a one eighth Allen. So the bolts that come with the TWM, really surprising because they're, I thought they were a European company, are actually standard. They're SAE size. I just noticed when I was tightening it down, I got just a little bit of a wobble to it. like. It wasn't quite the right size. So yeah, it turns out those are 1 8 inch. And that is now, how does this, oh, push down, right? There. Cool. Locked in. That is now a functional uh, quick access, quick release, gas cap. But, 
as you guys saw, we've got this to go over the top. Just like so. If you notice on the bottom, there's the 3M VHB. Double-sided sticky tape. And we'll just go right on down there. So first thing I'm gonna wanna do is I'm going to grab some rubbing alcohol and a paper towel and I'm gonna wipe this down and get it really, really clean. I know, even cleaner than what I usually keep my keeper. Just gotta make sure that there's no sediment or dirt or smug or grease or anything on this surface. You wanna give that VHB as much of an opportunity to stick as possible. Last thing I want is a beautiful carbon fiber disc coming off and hitting me in the chest, riding down the road. That would be bad, okay? Ugh. She got all dusty from that cutting. I'm gonna have to wipe her down again. Grab some power. And yet again, I am just doing a low temperature. I think I'm gonna set it at 300 degrees. I'm gonna run it, run it on low, and I'm just gonna get this surface warm. It's just because it's so darn cold out here. We're below freezing right now. Let's go a little warmer. There we go. Now we're boiling alcohol. Just wanna make sure this area is nice and warm and nice and clean and nice and dry. I think I got a, quite a bit of alcohol down there. Might take a second to dry out. There we go. That's funny, it's got that arrow marking for top. If you notice directly opposite is a piece of VHB. But if you go to the top, that piece, or that's gonna span that bolt, but that piece right there is gonna go right here. It's barely gonna grab onto anything. All right, that feels warm. This is warm. Heat gun down. I always hate peeling this stuff. Any of you guys have a trick on peeling this VHB and not getting it to stick to your fingers? Like I found going to a corner and working the corner a little bit will help pull it up. It's just a pain. Get off me. All right, so the top should correspond to the blank side. And the bottom should be where that label is. Just get that lined up. Press her down. Oh, yeah. Push down, twist, half turn, quarter turn. She works perfectly. And that really is all it takes, man. It's super simple install. I think it really, personally, my opinion, I think it improves the looks of the bike. I know it's not gonna improve the performance. Uh, it's a mod that I really wanted to do ever since the first time I put fuel in this bike though. So I'm psyched to have that done. Thanks again to Miami Manny for taking care of me and getting the exact product that I didn't even know I wanted but this is the one I wanted. So you're freaking awesome, bro. I don't care what anybody says, although everybody says you're awesome. So actually I do, I kind of agree with them. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. All that fun stuff, spend time with your family. Uh, I'm hoping to get a couple days out riding. I was hoping to do it this weekend, but the forecast has changed and it's gonna be cold again. 
uh, all this weekend. But until the next time, guys, you know I love each and every one of you guys. Keep that shiny side up. I will see you out in the canyons or in the garage for the next couple months. Love y'all. Peace. Now it's time to clean up. Yay.